Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm in our uh, heifer barn here this morning. Like I mentioned in the last video, my mom and dad are on vacation, so I'm just doing some of the jobs that uh, they normally do on the farm. So something my dad does every morning is he uh, takes his track skid steer here and he'll uh, push up feed at uh, 7, 9 and 11 every morning and uh, after 7 when he does that he'll come by with his bucket and in the, the, the far off dry cow pen, close up dry cow pen and the heifer pens he'll uh, come by and uh, redistribute the feed a little bit if necessary so that feed is quite a bit lighter than the feed that our cows get so after a whole night of uh, pushing it up with the skid steer sometimes we'll end up with a lot of feed at the end of the bunk here so I just went by and did this pen uh, pushed uh, about a half bucket's worth down back down to the far end we'll also uh, broom the ends of these pens so it's the feeder's responsibility to keep the ends of the milking cow barns clean but my dad will always do uh, this barn here and then our uh, close-up our maternity barn so I'm doing that this morning just did this uh, just did this one here clean this end up nice couple of uh, days here it's supposed to hit 80 today so we've got the fans running here the last few days we uh, we've been spreading solid manure uh, we unhooked from our solid manure spreader yesterday and started doing some tillage with our compact disc uh, I'd mentioned in the past that a neighbor of ours plants our corn, that's uh, Tyson does that. He's, uh, he started this morning on the field of his across the road from us, that's going to be silage corn for us. So we have uh, two fields of ours that we put liquid manure on in the fall. We've got one of them is ready to go for him to, to uh, go to once he's done planting across the road. And then there's one more field that uh, we put liquid on that I'm uh, planning to have one of our guys uh, head over there later this morning with our uh, tractor to get that field ready for planting. We're still waiting on the liquid manure crew to do uh, the acres around the, right around the farm here. Hopefully they'll be here today. Uh, they probably have three to four days worth of at least of uh, liquid manure pumping so I'd like to get them here as soon as they can. They were going to be here a few days ago but they must have ran into some issues at the the other farm they were working on. I believe they're in Minnesota at a dairy at the moment. Uh, yeah, hopefully they get here soon because it's, we've had some pretty nice weather here. Hate to uh, waste it. But that's what we've got going on today. So I, uh, I'm planning to have Sam go out to the field and get that last field ready for Tyson so he can uh, keep going with the planter. He's got a 24 row corn planter so it doesn't take him long to uh, I think he's got a couple hundred acres of his across the road and then one of our fields. Uh, it's about a 180 acre field but with all those uh, low areas, all those wet spots, I think we might only be able to get 150-ish or so at this point. Probably a few more here in the next week or two if it dries out a little more. But we'll, uh, I'll try to get some uh, filming of that and uh, yeah. Hope if the, the liquid manure crew gets here later today, we'll uh, definitely get some filming of that as well. Let's see if I can do this one handed. by and fed these uh, calves here in the heifer barn pellets. Jose Luis and Alfredo were just here. So they do that uh, in the morning first before they start feeding calves milk. Then when I come by later with our feed pusher I'll uh, redistribute that little pile again. I could also do it with a bucket, but now I'm holding the camera in my hand, so it's, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it like this for now.
said my dad does this every morning. I was not joking. He does this every morning. So he, he uh, doesn't take a day off very often. Uh, sometimes he'll take a half day off or so, but he, he likes to be at the farm, that's for sure. It's a little bit later in the day here. I didn't get a chance to uh, film Sam in the tractor getting the field prep for planting. He was done already by the time I wanted to go over there. So we unhooked from the disc uh, back up to the manure spreader. So he's going to keep uh, spreading manure. Uh, Christian was just over here uh, picking rocks here. I cleaned that ditch out over there and he uh, leveled the piles out and picked up all the rocks. And uh, Tyson's across the road there planting uh, corn on our west or on our east field here from the dairy. Uh, it looks like he'll probably get this done today and maybe even that north quarter that Sam was just finished up there this morning. Still waiting for the, the manure pumping crew. So uh, this field here, this is the field right around the dairy. You can see the dairy down there in the distance. So we need to put manure on this field before we can uh, plant this because we need the fertilizer. So we'll uh, once Tyson is done with these two fields and we'll just have to wait until we get the manure put on and uh, yeah, let it dry out some and then prep the field again for planting. In the meantime, I'm going to continue uh, cleaning this ditch out. Wasn't sure if I was going to have enough time to do this this spring. I had it located here last week and I did part of it already and I might as well keep going while if uh, while we're waiting for manure to be put on anyways. So yeah, well, uh, I'll see if I can get some video of uh, Tyson planting the corn. He's, uh, yeah, he's pretty close to me here now. so. We'll get the drone up in the air. I've got it with me. It's a little windy, but I think it should go.
next day here. Uh, thought I'd show you guys quick. Ryan came back with his crew and this uh, uh, truck mounted manure spreader, salt manure spreaders and they, they were here a couple weeks ago or about a week ago spreading on a neighbor's field and there was uh, probably 60 to 80 acres that were too wet to spread at that time and it dried up enough now that they could uh, finish uh, what they can get at on that field here. And then Sam's over here spreading or loading uh, manure also. We've got a small manure pile over there. I was wanting to leave that pile until last but since they're both spreading I thought I'd try to keep them out of each other's way so he's so Sam's loading over here it sounds like Tyson is about done planting what is ready to be uh, planted now um, the liquid manure guys they did drop their agitation boat off this morning here so they're planning to be here at some point today but I haven't heard exactly when but they should be here sometime today and we can get our liquid manure put on uh, they've probably got uh, yeah, th at least three to four days worth of uh, liquid manure pumping, I think. So hopefully, there's some rain to forecast. Hopefully, it's uh, not too much rain. It doesn't hold them up too much. And then we can get the rest of our corn planted. Just, uh, yeah, I think I'll end the video here. It's exciting uh, time, springtime, getting corn planted. Getting the yeah, start of uh, feed for next year, I guess. Well, I, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Uh, like always, if you guys have questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments.